Please don't tell the supervisor I have the flu. I've been working with the shattered pelvis for three weeks. <laughs> Back in 1993, in an episode of The Simpsons titled Marge and Chains, well, it featured the residents of Springfield dealing with a viral outbreak known as the Osaka flu. Now, this caused a number of the characters to get seriously sick. I bought you a new juicer. <gasps> Good lord. Flu germs entering every orifice in my head. <sighs> now, that's just one example of a handful of The Simpsons episodes that seem to predict this pandemic that we're currently dealing with. I mean, check out this clip from another episode titled The Fool Monty. This is from season 22, episode 6. We do have standards. This can't be a made up disease. We do have something we've been holding on to, but it hasn't been tested. Get over here, NBC. Uh, well, well, we certainly believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh. And then there was The Simpsons movie in 2007, and they had a Tom Hanks cameo, and in there he made a loose statement about self-isolation. This is Tom Hanks saying, if you see me in person, please, leave me be. Once again, the fine folks at The Simpsons, they're being praised as being fortune tellers predicting the future. Now, some of these, they're a far stretch, while others, they're bang on the money. I'm going to walk you through all the Simpson references related to the recent pandemic here for you on Famous News. My name, of course, is Michael McCrudden, and we actually haven't done one of these in a couple of months. Now, if you like this concept and you like me keeping you up to date with everything going on in entertainment news, well, I got good news for you. We do that on my personal Instagram page, at McCruddenM. There's a link down below. Be sure to check it out. Give us a follow. And uh, if you guys like these videos, we can make more of them. We can make more predictions the Simpsons have come up with. So if you want us to do that, let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's get into this video. Catch me I'm in the hospital. Oh, he's coming. You lie so much let's to me. send the location. I'm number one. We need a cure. We need a cure. Now that was another clip from the 1993 episode titled Marge and Chains. Now many of Springfield's residents, they purchased these juice looseners and they got them through the mail, which were manufactured in Osaka, Japan. Now one worker, he coughed in Homer's box before it was sent for delivery and all of Springfield, they got infected by a fast spreading flu. Oh, my juice looseners never gonna come. Hey dad, this came for you in the mail. Woohoo! Ah! Mother, get an extra special hug ready. I bought you a new juicer. Good lord, flu germs entering every orifice in my head. Ugh. Now Homer, he was hit first, followed by Principal Skinner. Principal Skinner cracks me up. Then Patty and Selma, Otto, Chief Wiggum, literally no one was safe. Now there's also been this photo of Kent Brockman reporting about the virus, but this was proven to be a hoax. Someone made this image. Now this is from The Fool Monty, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute, but the words virus, they were added to the top of this image. Originally it read, Apocalypse Meow. Now the spread of the Osaka flu is pretty bang on with the spread of CV, but the location of it, it's a little off. Now the Simpsons, they chose Osaka, Japan, which is more than 2,000 kilometers away from Wuhan, China, which is the origin spot of Korea. You know this, right? If you don't, you should check out my Before They Were Famous on the Coronavirus. Sarge, we keep getting orders to let the virus win. Must be a school day. Lay down your arms. All right, let's make some puffs. <laughs> now people are chalking this up as another big prediction from The Simpsons, but there have been plenty of historic examples of contagious flu spreading throughout history. I'm talking the Spanish flu, the Hong Kong flu, and the Asian flu. Now perhaps the episode's writers, Bill Oakley and Josh Weinstein, well they were taking from the past rather than predicting the future. In fact, Bill Oakley, he spoke with The Hollywood Reporter and he had this to say. I don't like it being used for nefarious purposes. The idea that anyone misappropriates it to make CV seem like an Asian plot is terrible in terms of trying to place blame on Asia. I think that it is gross. He continued, it was meant to be absurd that someone could cough into a box and the virus would survive for six to eight weeks in the box. It is cartoonish. We intentionally made it cartoonish because we want it to be silly and not scary and not carry any of these bad associations along with it. Which is why the virus itself was acting like a cartoon character and behaving in extremely unrealistic ways. Here I'm sure he's referring the part where the cloud like the virus, it waits at a red light and then another cloud, it goes by at a green light. It's pretty cartoonish. All right, so that's one episode out of the way, but we got plenty more to get through. Let's take a look at episode six from season 22, titled The Fool Monty. Wow, 
Wow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So we've got our deadly disease. Now we just have to blame it on something that's in every household, something that people are a little bit afraid of already. House cat flu is coming, people. The Center for Disease Disinformation predicts with some degree of probability that the house cat flu might spread in the following hypothetical outbreak pattern. So there you have that photo of Kent Brockman and Apocalypse Meow. Now in this episode written by Michael Price, well, TV representatives, they created a mass panic in an effort to boost viewers and ratings. So they created the cat flu. And this was with the help of the Center for Disease Misinformation. Now it also features Mr. Burns in this episode attempting to put the entire town under a dome, which is actually pretty similar to mass quarantine. Taking an idea I got from a Stephen King book, I'm going to cover this town with a dome. <laughs> now this one is pretty bang on. Now it's hard to deny that they weren't right on the money with this one, but to me, it's just like the product of great writing. In the actual world, it's a little more surreal than a cartoon. Okay, we're not even done yet. There was another episode, and this one, it dealt with another pandemic. This is General William Sullivan with an emergency message. I'm speaking to you from a CDC clean zone. Outbreak of the deadly Pandora virus is spreading rapidly. Unprecedented threat requires a worldwide quarantine. Now this is from season 23, episode 19, titled A Totally Fun Thing That Bart Will Never Do Again. Now Bart, he decided to trick the crew and the passengers on a ship that the world is coming to an end back on land because of a pandemic and that the ship therefore has to stay out at sea. Now he managed to do this with the help of a large television screen on which he displays a scene from the film, The Pandora Strain, that features a general named William Sullivan warning humanity about a deadly virus. All ships must remain at sea until further. Humanity must endure. Oh. A virus? We're stuck on the ship! What should we do? They're buying it. They're buying it. Now this clearly has a lot in common with the Diamond Princess and the Sapphire Princess, two British cruise ships that underwent quarantine in February of this year, and this was due to a CV outbreak. Now at least 696 out of the 3,711 passengers and crew, well they tested positive for the virus, and the death count, it reached a total of seven. Now again, this one, it's pretty bang on the money. Now the episode, it initially aired in 2012, and although cruise ship outbreaks have happened in the past, well, the episode is based on a movie about this happening. I'm still gonna count it as The Simpsons predicting an event that was to happen. How do they do this time after time? All right, finally, we gotta take a look at Tom Hanks and his 2007 appearance. Hello, I'm Tom Hanks. The US government has lost its credibility, so it's borrowing some of mine. Tussle my hair, Mr. Hanks. Sure thing, son. <laughs> Now the 2007 The Simpsons movie, did you ever see it? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. It too featured a giant dome, a la quarantine. Oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Because if I stay, I'm trapped. If I leave, I'm alone. Oh God, in, out, in, out. Now in there we have Hanks making a cameo appearance, advertising a new Grand Canyon because the main one, well, it's been getting boring. Now fans, they believe that the writers, they foretold that the actor Tom Hanks, well, he would have to self-isolate himself one day. And as news broke that the Hollywood star and his wife, Rita Wilson, caught COVID-19, well, everyone was like, the Simpsons had already predicted this. I don't know, what do you think? It's all come true. That crazy old man in church was right. Well, this theory is somewhat of a stretch to me, hardcore The Simpsons fans, they're happily adding this to the ever-growing list of Simpsons predictions. Which ones do you think were bang on or which one do you think are a bit of a stretch? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. All right, so there you have it. What are your thoughts on all this? I'll be reading your comments. I got a new guy on my team. He's helping me sort through what you guys have to say. So we'll be getting back to you. And uh, did the Simpsons writers have a crystal ball or is this outbreak something that was easy to predict? I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. I actually find this all super fascinating and I'd love to make more videos about the Simpsons predicting stuff that's happened. In fact, they actually predicted the death of Donald Trump, but thankfully we didn't have to include that in today's video. You know what I mean? Now these virus videos, they've all been demonetized. So if you guys want to support this channel, well, the first thing you can do is subscribe if you're new. And if you're not, well, you can become a channel member. That way you get to watch these videos without ads and it gives us a little money in the bank so we can keep bringing you videos. My name is Mike McCrad. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in another video. Also, for those out there, stay safe. Just stay home, watch YouTube, watch The Simpsons. You'll be good. Don't be, uh, don't be out there on Tinder. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, bye. Boom!